Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Rye bread, rye bread is a staple in Estonian cuisine. It's often used as a base for open-faced sandwiches called voilib, which are commonly found in street food stalls. Rye bread is dense, flavorful, and pairs well with various toppings. Rye bread holds a special place in Estonian cuisine and is considered a national treasure. It has been a staple in Estonian diet for centuries and is often referred to as black bread due to its dark color. Here's more information about rye bread in Estonia. Traditional preparation, rye bread in Estonia is typically made using a sourdough starter, which gives it a tangy flavor and dense texture. The dough is made from a combination of rye flour, water, salt, and sometimes a small amount of wheat flour. The dough is then left to ferment for several hours or overnight before baking, dark and dense. Estonian rye bread is known for its dark color and dense, moist crumb. It has a distinctive earthy, slightly sweet, and nutty flavor. The dark color comes from the high percentage of rye flour used in the bread, which gives it a rich and robust taste, health benefits. Rye bread is not only delicious but also nutritious. It is high in fiber, which aids digestion and helps maintain a healthy gut. Rye bread has a lower glycemic index compared to wheat bread, meaning it doesn't cause a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. It also contains essential minerals and vitamins. Voilib, one of the most popular ways to enjoy rye bread in Estonia is through voilib, which translates to buttered bread. Voilib refers to open-faced sandwiches where rye bread slices are topped with various ingredients like cheese, cold cuts, fish, pickles, vegetables, and spreads like butter, mayonnaise, or sour cream. These sandwiches are commonly eaten for breakfast, lunch, or as a snack. Cultural significance. Rye bread holds cultural significance in Estonia and is deeply intertwined with its history and traditions. It has been a symbol of resilience and survival throughout difficult times in the country's past. In 2014, traditional Estonian rye bread making was even added to UNESCO's representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Sausages, sausages, particularly grilled sausages, are a favorite street food item in Estonia. They are often made with a combination of pork, beef, or other meats, and seasoned with herbs and spices. Sausages are typically served with mustard or ketchup. Sausages are a popular street food item in Estonia and are enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. They are often grilled and served with condiments such as mustard or ketchup. Here's more information about sausages in Estonian cuisine. Variety of sausages. Estonia offers a wide range of sausages, each with its own unique flavor and preparation. Some common types include grillwurst. This is the Estonian version of a classic grilled sausage. It is made with a mixture of pork, beef, or a combination of meats, seasoned with various herbs and spices. Viner. Viner is similar to a Viennese sausage or a hot dog. It is a thin, lightly smoked sausage made from finely ground pork or pork and beef. Verwurst. Verwurst, also known as blood sausage or black pudding, is a traditional Estonian sausage made from pork blood, barley, or rice, and various spices. It has a dark color and distinct flavor. Hapakapsavorst. Hapakapsavorst is a sour cabbage sausage made by mixing ground meat, usually pork, with sauerkraut and seasonings. It has a tangy and savory taste. Grilling tradition. Grilling sausages is a popular method of preparation in Estonia. You can often find street food vendors grilling sausages on open charcoal or gas grills, infusing them with smoky flavors, condiments, and accompaniments. Sausages in Estonia are typically served with mustard and ketchup. Estonian mustard. 
Known for its slightly sweet and tangy flavor, is a great accompaniment to enhance the taste of sausages. Some vendors also offer additional toppings like sauerkraut, pickles, or fried onions. Festivals and events. Sausages play a prominent role in Estonian festivals and events, particularly during the summer months. Food stalls and outdoor markets often offer a variety of sausages, allowing people to indulge in this beloved street food. Smoked fish. Estonia is known for its excellent smoked fish, such as salmon, trout, and sprats. Smoked fish is often served on a slice of rye bread or as a filling in pastries. It's a popular ingredient in street food dishes like fish wraps or smoked fish sandwiches. Smoked fish is a popular and delicious ingredient in Estonian cuisine. It is enjoyed both as a standalone dish and as an ingredient in various preparations. Here's more information about smoked fish in Estonia. Types of smoked fish. Estonia is known for its high-quality smoked fish, particularly salmon, trout, and sprats, small Baltic herring. These fish are smoked using traditional methods, which involve curing the fish in a brine solution and then slowly smoking them over hardwood chips or logs. Smoked fish dishes. Smoked fish is often served as a standalone dish or used in various recipes. Some popular ways to enjoy smoked fish in Estonia include smoked fish sandwiches, smoked fish. Such as salmon or sprats, is commonly used as a filling in sandwiches. It is layered on rye bread along with toppings like sliced cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, and sometimes sauces like mayonnaise or sour cream. Smoked fish wraps. Smoked fish can be wrapped in a thin pancake like flatbread called lib or libasai. The wrap may include additional ingredients like salad greens, herbs, and sauces. Smoked fish pate. Smoked fish is often blended with cream cheese, sour cream, or other ingredients to create a flavorful and creamy pate. It is typically spread on bread or crackers and enjoyed as an appetizer or snack. Smoked fish salad. Smoked fish can be flaked and used in salads. Often combined with fresh vegetables like cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions. The salad may be dressed with a simple vinaigrette or creamy dressing. Traditional smoking methods. Smoking fish is a traditional practice in Estonia, and many families continue to smoke fish at home using traditional smoking racks and methods. This ensures the preservation of fish and imparts a pickled vegetables. Pickled vegetables, such as cucumbers, beets, and mushrooms, are commonly used in Estonian cuisine. They add a tangy and refreshing element to street food dishes. Pickled vegetables can be served as a side or used as a topping for sandwiches or sausages. Pickled vegetables are a common and popular ingredient in Estonian cuisine. They add a tangy and flavorful element to dishes and are often enjoyed as a side or used as toppings in various preparations. Here's more information about pickled vegetables in Estonia. Types of pickled vegetables. In Estonia, a variety of vegetables are pickled to preserve them and enhance their flavors. Some commonly pickled vegetables include cucumbers. Pickled cucumbers, often referred to as hapakirk in Estonian, are one of the most popular pickled vegetables. They can be sweet, sour, or slightly spicy, depending on the pickling method and added seasonings. Beets, pickled beets, known as hapakapsis, are another common pickled vegetable in Estonia. They have a tangy and slightly sweet flavor. Pickled beets are often enjoyed as a side dish or used as an ingredient in salads and sandwiches. Mushrooms, wild mushrooms, such as chanterelles and bolites, are often pickled in Estonia. Pickled mushrooms have a rich and earthy flavor, and they are a popular addition to salads, sandwiches, and appetizer platters, carrots, onions, and more. Other vegetables like carrots, onions, bell peppers, and cauliflower can also be pickled in Estonia. 
They add a vibrant and tangy touch to dishes, salads, and sandwiches, traditional pickling methods. In Estonia, pickling vegetables is often done using a brine solution of water, vinegar, salt, and sugar. Additional flavorings such as dill, garlic, peppercorns, and mustard seeds may be added to the pickling liquid. The vegetables are typically soaked in the brine for several days or weeks to develop their characteristic tangy taste. Serving and pairing, pickled vegetables are a versatile ingredient and can be enjoyed in various ways. They are commonly served as a side dish alongside main courses or used as a topping for sandwiches, sausages, or open-faced rye bread sandwiches. The tangy flavor of pickled vegetables complements rich and savory dishes. Sauerkraut, sauerkraut, fermented cabbage, is another popular ingredient in Estonian street food. It's often used as a topping for sausages, added to sandwiches, or served as a side dish. Sauerkraut provides a sour and crunchy element to the dishes. Sauerkraut, known as hapakapsas in Estonian, is a traditional fermented cabbage dish that is widely enjoyed in Estonia. It is made by fermenting finely shredded cabbage with salt, which allows beneficial bacteria to develop and naturally preserve the cabbage. Here's more information about sauerkraut in Estonian cuisine fermentation process. To make sauerkraut, cabbage is finely shredded and mixed with salt. The salt helps draw out the moisture from the cabbage, creating a brine that encourages the growth of lactic acid bacteria. The cabbage is then tightly packed into fermentation containers, such as jars or barrels, and left to ferment at room temperature for several weeks. During fermentation, the natural bacteria convert the sugars in the cabbage into lactic acid, resulting in a tangy and slightly sour flavor. Flavor and texture. Sauerkraut has a distinctive flavor and texture. It has a tart and tangy taste, with a hint of natural sweetness. The fermentation process also gives sauerkraut a unique crunch and a slightly soft texture. The longer sauerkraut ferments, the more pronounced its flavor becomes. Culinary uses, sauerkraut is a versatile ingredient that is used in various Estonian dishes. Some popular ways to enjoy sauerkraut include side dish. Sauerkraut can be served as a side dish alongside main courses. It pairs well with meat dishes, particularly pork, and provides a tangy and refreshing contrast. Sauerkraut stew. Sauerkraut is often used as the main ingredient in hearty sauerkraut stews, known as hapukapsasup. The stew typically includes sauerkraut, potatoes, carrots, onions, and various meats like pork or sausages, sauerkraut casseroles. Sauerkraut is incorporated into casseroles and baked dishes, such as hapukapsa pewter. This dish combines sauerkraut with potatoes, bacon, and sometimes other vegetables or dairy products. Forest berries. Estonia has abundant forests, and during the summer months, you can find various wild berries like blueberries, lingonberries, and cranberries. These berries are used in desserts, drinks, and sometimes as a topping for pancakes or ice cream sold in street food stalls. Forest berries are treasured ingredients in Estonian cuisine, particularly during the summer and early autumn months when they are abundant in the country's forests. Estonia's forests offer a variety of wild berries that are valued for their sweet, tart, and sometimes slightly tangy flavors. Here are some popular forest berries in Estonia. Blueberries, blueberries, known as mustikas in Estonian, are one of the most beloved forest berries. They grow in the wild and are also cultivated in Estonia. Blueberries have a sweet and slightly tangy flavor, and their deep blue color adds vibrancy to dishes. Lingonberries, lingonberries, called pole in Estonian, are another common forest berry. They have a tart taste and are often used in jams, sauces, and desserts. Lingonberries are known for their bright red color and are sometimes compared to cranberries. 
cranberries, cranberries, known as Jovicas in Estonian, are tart and acidic berries that are found in wetland areas and bogs. They are typically used in sauces, jams, and desserts, and their vibrant red color adds visual appeal to dishes, raspberries, while not strictly a forest berry, raspberries, varikas in Estonian, are also widely enjoyed in Estonia. They grow in gardens and are known for their sweet and slightly tangy flavor. Raspberries are used in various desserts, preserves, and baked goods. These forest berries are highly valued in Estonian cuisine and are used in a variety of dishes and preparations. They are often enjoyed fresh, but they are also used in jams, jellies, sauces, compotes, pies, cakes, and even in traditional beverages like berry cloths. Forest berries are cherished for their natural sweetness, nutritional benefits, and the unique taste they bring to Estonian culinary traditions.